back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Tay Chanel, Taylor Chanel. Same thing, same difference. Today, we are going to be doing a clean with me. Today is December 30th. I just got back from Houston and my apartment is a complete mess. Everything is a mess. My hair is a mess, y'all. That Houston weather, if you in Houston, if you live in Houston, if you have lived in Houston, if you have been in Houston for a, a time span, a couple of days, baby, it don't matter what time of the year it is, <laughs> the humidity out there, Yeah. So yeah, y'all, let's get started.
Okay, I'm done cleaning up, y'all. Finally, it is, y'all, it's 11.31. I'm pretty sure I started between 8.30 and 8.45, something like that. Hair still crazy wild, clearly. I've been cleaning up all freaking morning, but I'm so happy I did it, y'all. Like, it always just feels so freaking good when your house is clean, you know, everything's kind of back in order, back in place. Like, it just... I can't wait to light this candle. My mom bought me a candle from Bath and Body Works because I love candles. Your girl love her some candles. So, um, my mom bought me this Black Cherry Merlot. And it really do smell. It smells so good, y'all. So, I can't wait to light this. Probably will do it later on because I still need to run out and go to the store like I told y'all I need to get some laundry detergent and washing powder or y'all know look at my hair oh lord I need some stuff to um for the dishwasher that and then I need to go get a half gallon of water a water jug um so I can always you know fill up my water and stuff like that so I'm not gonna lie I'm probably about to sit my butt down for about 30 minutes until 12 and then do something with this. What am I supposed to do? I'm, I'm probably just gonna blow dry it out, get the crinks out, and then put it in a uh, low pony tail or something because this is tragic. But you know, we gonna black girl magic it up, period. So I am dressed. I got ready for the day after cleaning up four hours. <laughs> So I think I'm about to run to Target. I need to grab something to eat and I need to go find this half gallon water bottle. I think I'm gonna probably run to, I really just wanna go to Target and just get the water bottle, but I don't know. I kinda wanna go to like Marshall's, TJ Maxx, like those places because they be having low key cute water bottles too. So I think I'm gonna run to those places first and then if I don't see nothing, then make Target my last stop. Now I think I'm gonna just go to Target first. So uh, I kind of forgot to take y'all in the store with me because I had got a phone call and then I was talking on the phone and then I forgot. So I'm sorry. However, I found me a water bottle. Let me sit y'all down. But this is the thing, y'all. They did not have um like a half gallon. So I'm a little annoyed with that but they did have this nice like 40 ounce can y'all see that let me put y'all in better light because that was terrible so they did have this 40 ounce one and i think it's nice you know it the little cap comes off it can fall all the way back it's pretty um pretty good too see that i like it i like this pretty like light lavender ish color and then it's um stainless steel it's insulated and it's sweat free y'all i hate when you get those water bottles and like you in the gym and it's sweating and you sweating and then everything is sweaty and uh, i ain't got time for it so i do like that it is definitely sweat free love that for me um and yeah 24 hours cold 12 hours hot new water bottle so yeah, I'll probably end up filling this up like two times. Hopefully trying to drink two, which would be actually more than half a gallon um, of water, which is great. So that's a goal. And y'all, I saw this too, and I was like, I just gotta get it. Okay. They call it the Influencer Glass Water Bottle, and it has this insulated sleeve. But y'all, it's literally a glass bottle, and it is so freaking just like you know it's just real you know like sleek chic ish whatever i really wanted it i love the gold um top on it so kind of excited about this too didn't need two water bottles however i probably will never take this to the gym with me this would be like oh i'm going out you know and i just want to grab you know a water um take some water with me or something like that and Ooh, it's glass. I'm so scared. If I drop this, baby, this is it. 
this is it so yeah y'all it's super cute love the little sleeve the sleeve has like this little hook on it i got both of these from marshall's so go to marshall's this one was 16.99 the 40 ounce one was 16.99 and then the glass um bottle was on sale baby for 7.99 um, and it's really cute. I really like it. And this one is 24 ounces. So, yeah, y'all, I'm ready. I went to Target, too. I have to get, like, some, um, you know, stuff I said earlier, laundry detergent, um, stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm about to eat some food because I'm starving. Um, I went to Chick-fil-A. I'm about to eat my Chick-fil-A and then chill for the rest of the day it's about to start raining uh, me and loretta we might go out later on this evening um and just like go have drinks and like little appetizers or something so i don't know if so um i'll bring y'all along with me if not then i don't know <laughs> Well, y'all, I am ending the day at home, relaxing with a nice glass of white wine. Let me show y'all which one this one is. Um, this is a Chardonnay, it's a 2019 Chardonnay by Kendall Jackson. 14.5 percent alcohol volume, baby. Um, yeah, so that's what I am but I do have a glass of wine, just kind of relax and reflect on my day. Uh, like I said earlier, today is um, December 30th. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve, officially the last day of the year. And, you know, I'm just ready to kind of just like relax and reflect on my year. Um, things that um, I did very well and what I am thankful and proud of myself for accomplishing um and then also you know things that i uh could do better um in the future and what i want to you know work on for 2022 um i'm always just so proud you know of myself regardless at the end of the year um because you know it's 365 366 days um in a year and so much happens um, in those matter of days that, you know, you honestly accomplish so, so, so much. Um, and sometimes you don't really realize, um, a lot of the positive things that you have done. Um, you kind of reflect and remember on the not so good things and the negative things and what you feel like, you know, sucked or whatever. Um, but I think it's just always good to choose to just try to reflect on the positives and what um, went really great um, for yourself this year and keep that at the forefront. Um, so yeah, y'all, that's what I'm gonna do. I am done writing out my goals uh, for 2022 and I am so, so, so excited um, for that. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll read a couple to y'all. I'll be right back, hold on. Okay, so. This was definitely not planned. I was ready to close out this video. Um, but yeah, I'm really not big. I typically don't share my goals. Um, I'm Like I said, uh, I mean, I'm a very private person. I said that um, in my very first intro video uh, for YouTube. Um, but when you put your life on YouTube, nothing is technically private, you know, anymore. Um, but it's something that I'm trying to learn and break out of. Um, so, yeah. But um, I'll just share maybe like a one or two things. I have six sections um, or categories for my goals. So, hold on. I just have to get a little sip. I have spiritual, personal, fitness, nutrition, financial and career and i like to just really like break down my goals into those categories i kind of keep those exact same categories every single year because that's honestly the core of my life um and yeah so 
um maybe i'll just say one from each one so for spiritual um one of my bullet points is to continue to live by 2 corinthians 5 and 7 which is live by believing not by seeing um you know you need to um believe and have faith um and not just oh i need to see it you know um so yeah i um, kind of, I really live by that, um, that verse, uh, throughout 2021. And when I say I firmly believe in that, you really have to live by believing and just having faith, um, and not by sight because anything can happen. You never know when it's going to happen. And so you just gotta, um, do what you're supposed to do in the process and just believe that it will come and it will happen, honestly. Um, yeah, so I'm continuing that um, into 2022 because I feel like it was so positive and it was so um, rewarding for me. That is definitely something that I want to continue to build on um, and to strengthen uh, for myself. So yeah, um, on my personal section, um, I have um, have at least one self-care day per month. I get so wrapped up and so busy in work and everybody else's, you know, well-being and things like that, that I forget about myself a lot. Um, and that's because I'm just a naturally selfless person. So, yeah, I want to make sure that I give myself one self-care day per month. And that could be anything. That could be just me going for a walk and listening to music, you know, for an hour or so in the park. Um, it could be, you know, me pampering myself and getting my nails, my hair, you know, I typically kind of get that done on a normal, but maybe I just, you know, expand it and get some enhancements or, you know, things like that this time. Um, yeah, you know, it could, honestly, it can be anything. It could be me taking a bubble bath and drinking a glass of wine and, you know, listening to a podcast or reading a book, um, you know, things like that. So I'm very, very, very excited for that personal goal. Um, I hope that I can maintain it um, and actually stick to one self-care day per month. I think for myself, I might have to like schedule it in, pin it in like in my um, planner and stuff like that. So it's set in stone, it's set in stone for each month and I know, you know, this is coming up. Um, so yeah, um, my fitness category, I have to um, make indoor cycling and yoga a part of my weekly uh, fitness schedule. Um, a lot of people may know and may not know, y'all don't know, but I actually um, taught indoor cycling classes at my local gym for a couple of months in 2020 and then a pandemic came and we got furlough and then that was that. And I just, you know, I never, um, um, I never um, showed interest again in doing it just because, um, one, I was very nervous to go to the gym and just be around people. You know, COVID was a very big thing. I didn't want to get sick. I didn't want to put other people at risk. Um, and for a very long time, they were not even offering classes once the gyms did open back up. So, I mean, um, that's why I want to incorporate um cycling back into my um schedule i used to cycle maybe two to three times a week and i feel like that really helped me build um build my body to where i liked it to be it helped me tone my thighs um my all you know areas of my legs i feel like it helped me strengthen my core um and i just love cycling i love cycling so much and um i really 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 want to get back into it and get back fit um so yeah it's one of my goals y'all i'm excited for it i want to do yoga too um just for, just for flexibility um i danced in high school and i was so flexible and then i started um taking dance uh, weekly like dance heels dance classes um before the pandemic <laughs> you know as well like 2019 all 2019 really and then 2020 before the pandemic Hit us so i just want to do yoga again just to build back my flexibility and it's kind of like a i want to be able to meditate so that's like my meditation my relaxation you know time so um yeah i'm looking forward to incorporating yoga in my weekly uh, fitness schedule i'm super excited about that and hope um 
that I enjoyed. I used to do it a lot in college. I have a yoga mat, I have a yoga bag, like I got everything. So I'm ready y'all. I'm so, so, so excited for my fitness goals because baby, let me tell you my 2021 fitness goals, they went down the drain, but that's okay. Life happens. You don't always meet your goals and um, yeah, you gotta do better. You gotta work harder and um, you know, focus even more for the next year so you can uh, be better. Um, yeah, my nutrition category, um, I have to drink half a gallon of water daily. Last year, one of my nutrition goals was to drink a gallon of water and that's pretty hard to drink a gallon every single day. Um, I did it for a good amount of time, but baby, the amount of times you gotta go to the bathroom is ridiculous, okay? And holding that heavy gallon jug is low-key annoying. Like, you gotta take it everywhere with you. It don't fit nowhere. It's kinda in the way. So, I think I'm gonna scale it back and make myself drink half a gallon of water daily, which is why y'all know y'all said this earlier which is why i bought this um this 40 ounce bottle uh water bottle so yeah we're gonna get on it i usually drink half a gallon um anyway um i just don't track it very well so i feel like this will um help me to better track it not necessarily me making sure that i drink the half gallon um but just making sure that i'm like okay cool i'll track it this is you know enough so yeah um i only have one financial um goal for 2022 and it is to be debt free let me tell y'all something if y'all not trying to be debt free in 2022 what are y'all doing like especially i am 28 years old um, I'll be 29, obviously, next year um, in August. And I'm trying to be debt-free by the end of 2022. Like, that is a big, big, big goal for me. I don't want to go into my 30s in debt. I just don't. I don't have a lot of debt. I have a car note and I have student loans. That's all the debt that I have in my name. And so, um, oh, I am praying that I can knock both of those out in 2022 it's going to take a lot of discipline a lot of patience um but you know i'm i'm motivated i'm ready and um i'm so excited i think um you know that's just going to take me to the, another level in my life um and just set me up um better you know for my future um so yeah if you can do it i would definitely recommend that you set that as one of your financial goals. It's just to be debt free. Um, you know, as a black person, um, there are, we don't hear about being, you know, debt free. A lot of times we are born into debt um, just within our families and stuff like that. So for me to be able to, um, to be the change, you know, for my generation and just like in my family of like saying, oh no, debt, we're not, I'm not doing that. Um, it, it's very meaningful and it means a lot to me and I'm super excited for it. Um, yeah, y'all, I'm, I'm so pumped. That's probably one of my most exciting uh, goals that I have set for myself um, just because I just know it's, y'all don't understand, y'all don't understand like, when you don't owe anybody, everything that you make comes to you. Like, y'all, that's another, uh, uh, let me tell y'all, that is another story for another day. We'll have to have another video on that. I might have to collab with my girl, Maya Santana, because we are very big on uh, debt-free um, lives. So yeah, and then lastly, my last category, which is career. Um, I want to become eligible for monetization on YouTube. I want to be able to make money from YouTube. And of course, you know, you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 um, public watch hours. So I am hoping that by the end of 2022, I am ready i have met those goals and then i am able to uh, monetize my channel um so i'm super excited 
um, for that too. I have a lot of career um, goals for this year just because obviously I just started a YouTube channel and I wanted to grow and I just started my balloon design business and I want that to grow. So I have a, a lot of high expectations uh, for myself. Some other career goals that I won't share uh, just because they're a little bit more personal and I just kind of want them to be you know, low key, you know, for myself. Like I said, I'm a very private person. So some things I have to keep to myself, y'all. But um, yeah, y'all really was not planning to share like some of my goals. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, so whew, this is probably, this might be, I don't know if this is gonna be my last video. I think I might do a video tomorrow um a grocery shopping uh haul with me uh before the year starts so that might be my last video of the year but it might not get posted until you know after the new year i don't know we'll see i'm gonna try to get this one up though um by this weekend so hopefully by sunday it will be up for y'all um but yeah y'all that is it for today's video thank you so much for tuning in please do not forget to comment like and subscribe to my channel once again so thankful for you all joining tuning in and i cannot wait to see y'all in 2022 because we got big girl things happening love that for us but yeah y'all okay i'll check out and i'll see y'all next time